what changes to gun and ammunition laws and regulations, if any, would you vote for as a senator? Well, I think this is incredibly important. I can be, and I can be very specific uh, about what we, we need to do and, and why. Uh, in Pottawatomie County, in Council Bluffs, uh, less than a year ago, uh, a militia embedded itself in our uh, sheriff's department uh, when they closed down the, the community uh, because of a potential threat of a, of a, a riot uh, following the George Floyd uh, murder. And what we saw was this local government agency embracing uh, militants on the street with their weapons, not sending them home when the uh, curfew went into effect, uh, and essentially allowing them uh, a bully pulpit in our, in our streets. Uh, we absolutely need to ban assault uh, weapons. There's, there's really only, only one purpose for those, and that is to kill large numbers of people in a short period of time. We also need to control uh, the access to ammunition and control the access to uh, magazine clips or, or, or other devices like bump stocks that turn uh, other weapons into a more automatic style weapon. Uh, there is just no time to wait anymore. Uh, we've had that time, and the, and the time to act is now. Abby Fickner, you touched on a few. Are there other measures that you'd be interested in addressing? Yeah, look, I think this is something, whether it is HR 8 and getting that through the United States Senate, there's plenty more to do. And it's one where I truly believe we can bring Iowans together on it and also Americans when we take the fear out of it. I mean, I still remember in 2018 when I was running for Congress, I was in Marshalltown talking to a group of bricklayers. And there was a guy standing there, he had a, uh, I think it was a Cabela's hat on, and you know, he looked at me, and this was right after Parkland. And he says, well, I got a question about guns. I said, okay, I, let's talk. And because I'm, you know, pro Second Amendment, but we need to do smart things when it comes to curbing gun violence. And the question he asked me with tears in his eyes was how do we keep our kids safe in schools who are getting shot up? I mean, this is something we shouldn't be afraid to talk about because, I mean, I grew up in a house where dad was a pheasant hunter. I mean, where you should be able to go hunting on the weekends and send your kids to school in Iowa and in the United States of America and not be afraid, are they coming back home or not? And so there's plenty more to do, whether it is HR 8, whether it is actually making sure that we had red flag logs, red flag laws to be able to cut down on extremism of people actually getting getting those guns in the first place. Um, but again, there's plenty more to do, and I look forward to being able to do that as a United States Senator and also bring Iowans along with us. The other thing I'll say also about the background check bill, 94% of gun owners in this country support that. And you've got Chuck Grassley, who's been sitting in that United States Senate, literally blocking the bill. Mike Franken. So um, I grew up with firearms. Uh, it's been part of my professional life. There's no one in Washington, D.C. or in Iowa or in the NRA who's going to gunsplain me. And I doubt if anybody will happy, happy to have a debate with me on what we should do for responsible firearm ownership in America. So from indemnity insurance to hardening of society at, at, the, at the expense of uh, firearm sales and ammunition sales, to background checks, similar to the United States military does for surplus firearm sales. A five-step program, two background checks, in-situ training. Those people are responsible gun owners. They do not commit crimes, they store their firearms properly, and they're mentally and physically capable and they understand the effects of them. Uh, from being a land forces commander to being arming, uh, to guarding nuclear weapons, my extensive experience in this makes me a superlative person on the committee to draft these laws and enforce them. Background checks, et cetera, and a whole, for magazine size, there's a hundred things that can be done. And responsible gun ownerships in, and owners in America, every one of them, every responsible one will agree with me because this, was, this is what we deserve and it's what those who have never handled a firearm also deserve. 